Hi everyone. So I thought I would come in here, seeing as we are heading into a brand new year. And I know so many of you will be making some really great New Year's resolutions. And hopefully some of that will be to get your gut sorted if you're having issues. So just wanting to make some positive changes to your health. Maybe you're wanting to exercise more, lose a few pounds and just generally feel a damn sight better maybe than what you are doing right now. So one of the things that I get asked quite frequently is with regards to the probiotic drinks, the yogurty drinks that we buy from the supermarket and whether or not they are actually any good. So I thought I would just come in here and just do a brief summary. So the key three ones that I get asked a lot about is Activia, Yakult and Actimel. So are they all that they're made out to be? because we know that probiotics are good for us. So when we go to the supermarket and we see the probiotics in the fridge, it's super easy, isn't it? Just pick it up, they taste good. So it's something that we could include into our daily routine. And I, for one, I did this many, many, many years ago. I absolutely love them because let's face it, they are full of sugar. <laughs> So this has to be the reason why I do not recommend them. Um, so if we take, for example, Actimel. So Actimel has 10 billion of the lactobacillus cassi in there, but it doesn't have a strain. Now, every type of probiotic has to have a genus, a species and a strain. And it's a strain where all the research is in terms of any health giving benefits. So the first point to note then is that Actimel doesn't actually put the strain of the probiotic that are in their drink. So how do we know what it does, what it's beneficial for? We don't. The other thing to point out is that it has 14 grams of sugar per 100 ml in its little uh, pot. So that's a heck of a big amount of sugar and sugar feeds bad bacteria and that is exactly the opposite of what we are trying to do here. So if we look at the ingredients as well, it has liquid sugar in there and then it also has sucrose. So sucrose from sucralose, which is an artificial sweetener that humans cannot digest. And on top of that, it also has dextrose, another artificial sweetener. So do we really want to be popping all that into our system, especially when we don't actually know what the strain of the probiotic is and whether or not it's going to be doing us any good? Probably just a complete and utter waste of your money. Then we move on to Yakult. So Yakult has um, a little less sugar, if I am being, if I'm reminding myself correctly, I may have got that wrong. It may actually be that Yakult has 12 grams and Actimel has 14, but either way, they're both super shocking in terms of the amount of sugar that they have in them. So um, Yakult does in fact have the strain Shirota in there. So Lactobacillus cassei Shirota. Now that strain does have research behind it and does show that it does help to support the immune system. Now, I don't know in terms of how much exactly you would need to take in order for that immune support to actually come about. But the fact that it does have that strain in there is, is pretty good. And also that it's 20 billion. So 20 billion per little pot of your Yakult will give you that strain. So that is a tick in the box for the Yakult, but it's not a tick in the box <clears throat> in comparison to the amount of sugar that it has in there, whether it's 12 or 14 grams, as I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, I'm not keen on the glucose syrup in there. It's just going to affect blood sugar levels. Again, the sugar is going to feed the bad bacteria in the gut. So there are so much more beneficial ways of getting probiotics and prebiotics. Prebiotics are the ones that feed the friendly bacteria into our system than these sugary drinks. So the other one before I finish on the probiotic drinks is Activia. So Activia, much better in terms of the sugar, still not amazing, but way, way better than the other two at 4.3. However, no probiotic at all in sight. So it is literally milk, 91%. And then they're using apple and ginger puree to flavor and sweeten rather than the artificial sweeteners. So that gets a thumbs up from me in that respect. 
So not the worst, but again, if it's probiotics that you're looking for in order to make a change to your immune system, which I think in light of COVID, everybody is actually wanting to do, then I wouldn't be recommending that. It is just uh, kind of a sugary drink, uh, but not as sugary as the other two. So the ways in which we can help to support our overall gut microbiome, this healthy um, bacteria in our gut, we can do it through food. So there are lots of prebiotic foods out there. So just even eating a really diverse range of healthy fruits and vegetables can be the most amazing support for our guts. You know, be thinking about fresh herbs, lots and lots of different variety. And we wanna be having more vegetables and fruits. So you want to be consuming say, seven or eight portions of vegetables and two to three low sugar fruits. So not your tropical fruits, but your low sugar fruits, like your apples, pears, berries, those sorts of things are what we want to really be consuming. And then in terms of the prebiotics again, so the prebiotics are the ones that feed the friendly bacteria, things like banana. Um, again, we don't want them too sweet, so we don't want to let them ripen too much because then there is just way too much sugar. Uh, oats as well. And then we've got things like uh, onion, either raw or cooked, garlic, raw garlic, uh, raw artichoke, and also leeks. And what's the other one? There is another one that just escapes me right now. Um, but these are really great prebiotic foods that we can pop into our system on a daily basis and really see some really great uh, benefits. Ah, oh, that was it, raw asparagus, that's another one. And I love it raw, just add it into salads or, you know, just lightly steam it, you're still gonna get quite a lot of benefit there. And then the other things that we can do, I make raw sauerkraut. So just make it from uh, red onion, red onion, no, I don't make it from red onion, I make it from red cabbage. You can make it from any cabbage or any kind of root vegetable, just chopping it up finely. Um, you know, find yourself a recipe online or email me and I will happily send you over the recipe that I use. And it's literally just using salt and making the brine before we just let it all ferment away and then that produces all this healthy bacteria but you can also buy these products so loving foods are great for um, kimchi and sauerkraut they have lots of different ones that they provide that you can buy online or from some really good health food shops as well such as if you're local uh, the unicorn in Charlton do stock quite a few different ones from loving foods which is really nice then we have things like kefir, which you can do milk kefir or water kefir. You can buy the grains from a company called Happy Kombucha. And kombucha is another great probiotic drink. Also amazing liver support as well. I drink it every single day. Um, I've been doing that for well over a year now and I really do feel the benefits from doing that. So yeah, there's so many different ways so we can do, um, you know, natural foods in order to help improve our microbiome, our healthy bacteria, or, and I do do this on a daily basis as well, we can pop in a probiotic. So I like to use OptiBac. Now, the reason I use OptiBac is because they are one of the largest suppliers of probiotics and they use the top three manufacturers in the world. And they put their strains on every single one of their products. So you can go on Google Scholar and you can see exactly what it is that their particular probiotics do. And they never bring a product to market without it being backed up by science. So we know it works. They have the 50 billion, which is a max strength which is super for anybody with any kind of gut issue because it works on eight out of nine symptoms of IBS. So that is one that I have regularly stocked in my clinic. They also do one specifically for bloating. Now you need to take this one consecutively for at least seven days. They do a 28 day one, which is really, really effective because sometimes we need more than one a day. But I always say, start with one sachet a day for seven days. And then if you need to increase it, you can add more in. They do another probiotic, which is to help improve bowel regularity called bifidobacteria with fiber. And it tastes really, really good as well. It's a little bit like candy floss, so great one for the kids. And I think it's anybody can take from say 12 months. So um, that's a great one to have for children who are maybe, you know, a little bit uh, irregular, shall we say. Um, and you just want to make sure that they can go to the toilet regularly rather than ending up with tummy ache. 
So those are some great probiotics. They also stock the uh, Saccharomyces boulardii. This is actually a yeast, but it's amazing. It gives some really great health benefits and it's been proven to help with diarrhea and then also for helping to eradicate candida, which is a yeast infection. So I take Saccharomyces on a regular basis as well, just for its health giving pro, uh, profile. So that's something else that you might want to consider. And then prebiotic wise, the best prebiotic that I've come across to date is from Zanzino. Um, and I can put the link um, in the uh, email um, and in the post as well. So the link to Zanzino to buy Xenobiotic, which I take now two scoops every single day in my smoothie. You can just take it in water. And this is five different strains of, uh, sorry, not strains, five different types of fiber. So it's fiber that feed the healthy bacteria, the bacteria then ferment upon. So we need to make sure we have a really healthy amount of fiber in the diet. And in the Western world, we don't get anywhere near the amount of fiber that we should have. So having a prebiotic is a really great, great way to support your microbiome, to feed that healthy, friendly, good bacteria in your system. And then that will keep you healthy, help ward off viruses and help keep your gut regular and healthy. And when we have a healthy gut, you know, it's the knock on effect of the whole body. So you'll feel more energized. You'll feel just better in yourself, better health, well-being, uh, mindset as well, because it all is related. So I really hope that's been helpful and that you can take something from that. If you're struggling at all and you want some advice, don't forget that you can book in for a free half hour consultation with me off either of my websites. So we've got Inner Health Clinic. So it's inner-health-clinic.co.uk. And then there's also the Transform Your Gut um, website as well. So that is just transformyourgut.co.uk. And from either of those sites, you can book in a free half an hour consultation with me and I can help you maybe just plan, plan what you're going to do for 2021, how you're going to get it off to a good start, um, what you need to include in your diet, maybe what supplements you might need because maybe you're missing out on some key things. So reach out if, uh, if you want some help and I will be more than happy to help you. So hope that's been helpful. Bye for now.